Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook. It's Acrylic Painting Monday. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, we're down a camera, so you're just seeing my hands today. So this is actually, we're down two cameras, but it's all right. Um, we're just like be, the good old days. Like, uh, we're going to be painting an abstract sailboat today. And I think it's sort of nice. You know, we do a lot of flowers on this channel, but um, there may be someone in your life that's a sailor that uh, might really love this painting. And it, I think, it's, and I'll tell you what, for those of you who are out there, like my friend Eric, who likes to paint big, Eric, this would be spectacular large if you took your time with it, okay? So right now, as I start painting on this 9 by 12 canvas, I'll let you know the traceables for this, and you're probably you're going to want them, are on, will be on our website tomorrow. You must be an orange member or above. Now, what does that mean? Uh, in our website, um, we have different colored memberships, and some offer personal cart coaching, like red members and purple members, and some focus on portraits. But red member, what, red, what orange members get is all the traceables to everything back to 2020. So um, if it's for, for like $4.95 a month. And you could just sign up for a month, grab a few traceables. Every once in a while, I'll come back and do that. Um, it's really uh, kind of a, show, it's a way of showing appreciation if you just keep it going. But uh, in any event, it's, um, uh, that's how you will find the traceables for this, all right? So I'm going to start with, I've got a background color is yellow, cad yellow, uh, medium, and cadmium orange is the background color for this. And it's on a canvas board, 9 by 12 Studio Protone by Creative Mark. And these are real wood boards, and this, they're really nicely made. They're not like um, cardboard, okay? They're a big difference and well worth it. So the first thing I want to do is paint the things that need to be white. Get, give that a coat first. I'm going to have my moon and my um, the two sails. Maybe part of this boat will be, will be white. So I'll start off with, the, with an angle brush, no water on it. And I'm just going to come up there like this. If you don't put any water on the brush, your, um, your white will um, not disappear as easily. You're going over orange, so you're going to get some. It's going to, um, it's going to take more than one it's coat. It's going to get a little, sure. it'll take more than one coat, but you won't get as much bleed through. There's a, um, you know, that's an interesting thought about bleed through. You know, if you have like, for instance, somebody crayons on the wall and use pens or something or markers on your wall in your house, maybe some little kid that came to visit or one of yours <laughs> or grandkids, and you have this mark, and you, you paint over it, it'll just show through. This is why we tell people never to just draw on your canvas with pencil because that will show through. You just you can't get rid of it. But they do make something called kills, and you put you you paint that on over, say, a watermark from a leak or over a, a mark from a pen or mark or something. Again, Let that dry, wall, and it kills it kills it. So basically, what we're doing here is kind of like kills. This is our first coat, and uh, and also that helps me figure out because it's easy to get. This pattern is going to be so confusing to me um, that um, uh, having something painted is helpful. Notice I didn't start. Now this is important, you guys. This is a tutorial, so let's start with that stuff. We start in the middle of the moon and we work our way out. We don't outline the edge of it with and then try to paint in. You see that? And then we just kind of bring this angle brush around like that. Yep. Okay, so then I'm going to come over here on this part of the boat right here. This is the bow of the boat. That means front. Ooh. That means a front in boat talk. Oh, you're so nautical. I know, that's boat talk for front. You didn't know there was boat talk. There's boat talk. <laughs> I know. You're it's going one of the many talks we have. How many languages do you speak? I speak English and boat talk. I know the words for boat talk, which is not the same as other words, man. And this back here is called the stern, not because it's uh, it's fierce and angry, and um, but because that means the back of the boat. So I don't know. I'm having a little play on words here, but um, and then the right side of the boat is um, the starboard side. That means it's the starboard side. Let's see, I don't want to go any further than that. Okay. And the 
left side of the boat the, is, uh, you know, left is a shorter word than right, so you can remember it this way, is port. And that's the left side of the boat. So somebody says, you go, you can find, we you learn this in cruising, find your cabin on the port side, and you're thinking, I don't even know where the front of the boat is, you know, which where's port, you know. <laughs> that only helps if you know where the front is, right? You know, you're, you're talking about you're facing, facing forward, you know, not just, because otherwise it would change, wouldn't it, John? Yeah, absolutely. It would change depending on where you were standing. You, you could get confused. And so what the cruise ships do is that sometimes they give you different colored carpet. <laughs> one side has one colored, one hallway for your rooms has one colored kind of carpet and another may have a, the other side may have a different one. They'll do that for you. Which is necessary, I promise you that, right? It does help. You know, so it's all, all, all of that. So you can see how we're just covering that. So, okay, so that just sort of preserves what we have here. Now this painting is divided really into the, the majority of it is, uh, there's a little bit of the yellow up here in the orange sky, but the, mostly this is cool. Um, even white is can almost be considered a cool color in this case. And so the mo all are in blues in here. So the colors we're using, I'm just going to bring my palette up where you can see it. The color I've got is a titanium white, cad yellow light, cad yellow medium. This is marigold, but you can mix that with yellow and, um, and orange. Okay, you can make, make a marigold. Yellow oxide, cadmium orange, cadmium, cad red medium, magenta, Dazzling purple, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, thalo green, and burnt sienna. Those are the colors in this picture. Okay. And, and on that palette. And on the palette. Yeah, well, obviously it's on the picture. palette because they're the colors that are supposed to be in the picture. Yes and yes. <laughs> so, they're all right. So, there. I'm going to start with um, a few of these light colors. You can take a little bit of white and about 1% of the uh, yellow oxide. I'll move it over here. And I'm going to come up here on this little space right here. I'm going to make this sort of pattern here. I want to, we could have done a Valentine's picture, you know, for you guys. But, I mean, Valentine's Day tomorrow, I mean, you know, you feel, I, I wouldn't want anybody to feel any pressure. It's on the 14th, dear. Yeah, so, so it's the next day or it's whatever. But it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> just. Yeah, whenever. It's somewhere. You can see we're a romantic couple. Well, we're a romantic couple. We just don't let we don't we just don't let um, we don't let a day define it. We don't a day doesn't define us. Okay, so I'm going to say that that comes up here like that, and then I'm going to take a little bit of this um, white and orange and burnt sienna and tie that. Okay, there's that color. I'll take a little bit more. Um, white with that, just a drop of that. All right, so I've got this sort of light brown. I'm put a little bit more orange in that. Okay, that's the color. I'm going to come under here like this, paint that color, a little bit of magenta to it, maybe I think. Here we go. Because it's, it's different. If I'm painting over orange, it's going to react slightly different than if I were painting over white. Does that make sense, you guys? <clears throat> if I was painting over white, it would be slightly different. That's coming down here like this. And then I'm going to take the, the burnt sienna and magenta, half and half. Burnt sienna and magenta. It's a color you don't see often, is it? Kind of keep that kind of flat like this. And... Just do some lines like that. There you go. That's my probably about the most brown that's in it. There's a little bit of it up up here with some yellow oxide. Same color, but some yellow oxide in the brush. So I'm going to come up here like that and down like this. And this isn't going to exactly like, like my reference that you saw in the Gazette if you watched it because, you know, no two paint. if I painted this five times, it would all be different. But it'll be close enough, yes? So I'm going to say this comes along here, my sail like that. Now what this does is it gives the sail a little bit of, um, you know, the, the white and the little contrast there. And then I've got some brown and ultramarine blue, okay? A little bit of ultramarine blue right here in the brown color. 
okay? And in between my sails, I'm going to put, I won't go all the way up to the top, but I'll put it right here like that. Okay, then here's the trick. We've got to wipe off. Then I'll go back to this lighter brown color that's still over there and just kind of do that on the top. Kind of blend that through. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good? Yeah? No one's confused? <gasps> Great. Good. I'm confused. Well, so as long as you're not confused. How in the world can we follow the paint with all those lines for the waves? You've got, you're, you've got to paint the pattern, not the picture. Yep, paint the pattern. This is like doing a crossword puzzle only in paint, or a zigzag puzzle only in paint. So you paint, you paint the, um, you paint the pattern, you know? You'll see. You'll and see then, when you and that's how you have to do it. You can and, say, oh, and, this if, is and if you piece. discover that whenever you're painting something, that you don't know what it is. It could be maybe it's something you're just an object you're not familiar with. Maybe there's a still life, there's something from 100 years ago, and you have no idea what it was, what it is. So you don't, can't really translate it that way. But what you can do is paint the pattern, all right? So I'm going to come over here and take the white and give, my, uh, give our moon another coat of white, okay, like that. That's pretty dry. Yeah, sails could have another coat about this time. This is where you got to make sure it's it's um, dry. But this is where, and then it'll get a, they'll get a third coat, you guys. But this is um, kind of it, it, kind of to me an easy way to do it. Okay. So. All right, so there's that, there's this, Those, that I'm okay with. All right, so I'm trying to think, what else could I paint here that would make sense? So I think we'll start up here in this corner because that, that makes sense to me. Does that make sense to you? No. I'm going to start up here because I, I don't have a lot to translate here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some ultramarine blue and phthalo blue and dazzling purple, mix them all together. I'm going to come up here on this corner like this. Okay, so that was ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, and purple. Okay, mixed all together. And that's going to come under here. It's almost black, isn't it? It's going to come under here like this. This is our underpainting layer for this. Come right up to the our moon here. All right, and then I'm going to come this way and get a little bit more of that paint right there because it's getting a little watered down here. I don't want that. Now, as I come over here, I'm going to take some white and phthalo blue. Okay, like this, and add it to the mixture that we just did. And on this side of it, I'm going to just do some brush strokes like that and sweep this this way, just kind of sweep and lift up. And I'm going to say that this is the this is this side of our our moon. Cut cut in a little closer to it, right? All right, that's all I'm going to put there. That was easy, right? So where else could I put that dark color? Well, I've got that there. And I think I'll take the same, the, the ultramarine blue, the phthalo blue, and the purple. Come on over here with this dark color again. I'm going to come down in this corner. I'm going to come under here. And I paint this corner, corner dark. And I'm just going to leave this light, you know, where I just, I'm just going to leave the spot that's light here. I'll do that because I can layer colors over this, but this is my base coat. All right, let's put a little more purple in it. 
going to come under here like that and say that under here this is this color okay we'll leave a little bit of this orange going like that any questions and chats going on what are people talking about today john uh topic seems to be um not much not much well we can thank our mods for coming let's do that thanks mod for coming i believe it's um Becky's birthday, I think I saw rumors of that going by. I think I tried to call her today, wish her happy birthday, but she didn't answer, and I forgot to mention it on the show. All right. Yeah, happy birthday, Good job. Becky. All right, I want and this to... I believe JG just had a birthday, too. Oh, JC? Oh, happy birthday. JG. JG oh, Arts. Okay. And he's glad that you're doing a boat, because he has to do a boat for a gift. Really? Yep. Well, I think this is a good boat to do, and I'll tell you why. Um... Because it's, um, uh, let's see, let's just do it like that. Let's just make that all dark under here. We can always add more color later. And then come over here and just these ba basic dark colors. Because remember, in acrylics, you layer. So, you know, we've got a light blue on top of that. I've got a color right there. So as long as I don't get too confused, I'm good, right? That's just why I always do some things a little bit at a time uh, because it can't uh, uh, you know I get it it can get it can really can get very confusing can it yes and yes yes and yes all right so same colors again it's dark I could you could use black too if you wanted didn't want to mix this but I want to come up here like this and have this little shape coming down here like this and under here like this and make this dark you've got you know when you're painting anything you know how that when you're doing math in school you know they always tell you to break it down to the lowest common denominator is that what they tell you John absolutely and you have to do that in art too particularly when you're painting heavy subjects because your mind can only you can follow the pattern but don't get confused. Don't get too random. You, just, you won't know where you are in the picture. Does that make sense? But you see, already you're getting sort of a sense of where these waves might go, yes? From just what I've done here. Yes and yes? Going to take some of this phthalo blue and white. Okay. And I'm going to come back here and put that there and right there like that. And then maybe take a little bit and pull it around here like this while this is still wet. Just a few little fun marks like that. Maybe a little bit of a something like this. Because nothing is ever just one color. We might pull a little of that color under here like that. You see what I did? I do. So... Now I've broken it down into the, just these shapes, yes? And uh, let's do the same thing. Let's do the boat. It really should be black. The boat needs to be black. I guess I could do this light blue here. Could come up under this shape here where the boat is. Put a little of this blue color. And then right next to the boat here, We'll do something real dark. We'll just take purple. Purple and magenta. Do something very dark right here. So what these do is that you know it's about because everything's kind of going in this wavy, in this wavy stuff, right? That's what we're doing. Everything's all about this wavy motion that we've got going in the ocean. The yes? motion in the ocean. So let's take some of that dark color and come up here like this. 
just pull a little triangle shape coming out this way. Yeah. And Michelle's asking, would this be a good one to paint upside down? I think so. I think this would be one of those ones you would just paint upside down and try to figure out, you know, it, you know, the order of the pattern that would make the most sense to you. Yes? Because she's, right, she's absolutely right. This would be a good one to, to try to paint up, upside down. So one of the things that's going to require a little bit of this is like, for instance, like here's some light blue right there like that with a little white. There we go. I want that color here and here, here and here again, here and here. Just that thalo blue and white, that's all it is. And then this way, like that. Okay. So it becomes a, it becomes a very pretty pattern, and if you if it's dry enough, you can take that thalo blue and white, and you can do something like this, and like this, just right over the dark. See, like what I did, and that works pretty good. Now it's less less complicated. Yes. So um, I want to come back over here to our our moon. And I'm going to turn it sideways in order to cut into the moon. Now, one thing you could do is you could cut out a stencil of this round shape and then paint around it like a tape, you know, like contact paper, if you wanted to. But you know how. I think I did pretty good with that. I think cut, cut off the edge right there, but I can fix that. Absolutely. Hey, Barbara would like to know, how do you know if you have enough layers? Well, you, you, you don't want to see the canvas underneath. And each layer allows for, uh, each layer allows for a color. In other words, when you're looking at a picture, try to see the layers. It's kind of a hard, that's a good question. It's going to take a little bit of white and um, yellow oxide. And I'm going to come up here on my moon right up here like this. Now it's yellow, so you'd think it was the sun, but no. No, it's not. I'll come up here with a little more white anyway. Here we go. Okay. So we put that color on there, and, and it's got, it has to dry, and then I can do the other colors. There's almost a little ocean inside the, um, the moon. All right. So I'm going to change brushes now because I've all been in blue, and I can't possibly, um, okay, let me just do one thing. I somehow managed to get paint on my arm and then on my jacket, and I can just take a minute and wipe that off if you... I don't know how well, I did that. Doing, let's, let's give Diane a thank see, you look, for the PayPal here, donation that came in through PayPal. Put a smile on her face there, Diane. Thank you very much. Oh, Diane, and you guys, I've got some news. And do you? Uh, yeah, you guys, I've got some news. And because of your people like you that have been helping us with PayPal and our scholarship program, we ordered four new cameras. And hopefully by next Monday we'll have them working, and um, the whole new setup. I mean they're not paid for yet, but they're we are able to do a deposit. <laughs> so we thank all you guys that have helped out with that too. All right, so Tara would like to let you know that her strawberry birdie picture has been sold, and thank you very much for the personal art coaching on it. Oh, that's so wonderful. Oh, Tara, I'm so proud of you. That is great. I'm just, you know, we want you guys to be able to sell the art. Right? You know, if you can do a boat like this and sell it, that's great. We, or if you do, you know, and Tara, I, I found, it suggested this old DG artist that did these birds. And she and I both agree that that was probably your best thing that she ever did. Not that we're being mean, but she both, you know, the, the, the bird but picture. But she didn't like it. She was done with it funny because I didn't like it. 
And you know, the funny thing is, when Ginger hates the lesson, when we're done with it, it's the, it's the most popular one. Yep. Just the way it goes. If the artist doesn't like it, it's going to be a hit. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just putting a little yellow oxide and a little shading on this sail right here. And even on the edge, I'll do that. Still white, but just put a little of this up here like that. Okay, like this, and then come over a little bit closer. There we go, like that. And then I want to take some yellow oxide and orange. Okay, that cadmium orange. And I want to put it right down in here like this. I guess it only goes there. Well, okay, it can just go there. That's all right, I don't mind. Oh, and I've got something right here. Here it is, right here. A little more white with it. The fishbowl drawing comes to the end on the 29th. Okay. That'll be the last one we're going to do for a while. As we clean up and reorganize. A little bit of white there, right there. Got a little bit further than I wanted to go, but that's all right. Then I'll just take some yellow, cad yellow light, and do this. So I've got this yellow, this little bit of yellow here that's doing this. Kind of painted over that, but I'll put it back. Okay. All right, got those colors. Got a little bit of this. Okay. So now I've got that color on my brush. Let's just take some marigold and um, come on up here like that. Maybe a little orange. And give another coat to the canvas here. That's why I kind of left this alone, because this is the color that's kind of supposed to be up there. All right. And I'll just pull it like that. Now I'll take a little bit of the, while this is still wet, I'll take a little bit of the brown, which is your burnt sienna, and into the wet, I will just streak that a little bit like that, so I don't have, that's our edge right there. So far so good, yes and yes. So then what we need, you're going, oh no, there's a then, yeah. So then what we need is uh, let's see, we've got, look, I guess we can take a little bit of, of white. Let's see, that brush is kind of big. It's, I don't like that brush. You're being retired. Okay, let's take a smaller one. These angle brushes are great, but they wear out. Okay, so then under under the boat here, I'm going to come under the boat here like this, and then come up here like that into the blue. See how I, I'm, I take the brush, now watch, and then I spin it and lift up. Spin it and lift up. See what I'm doing? Okay. Put a little bit of blue with that. All right. Then we'll do, we'll do this one. It's got white and blue on it. Flat, and then spin it. The some of the orange shows through, that's fine. Okay. And they're going to do the same thing with this one. That's why I left this pattern out. A little bit of the orange showing through and just stop it there, okay? All right, see our pattern. Um, okay, I'll put that one away and we can twist that blue other brush I was using the blue with. I like to have two brushes when you're doing, that's a good tip when you're using something like two different warm and cool colors at the same time, consider um, Two or more brushes. Yeah, a couple of brushes, right? So let's just put some blue right here. And um, I'll 
Okay, got a little green there because of the um, uh, going next to that wet yellow, but that's that's pretty. So we'll leave it. See what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes you can just well, leave you got stuff. Lucky with that one. So here's some white and thalo green, which is really it's almost it's a turquoise. All right, it's a turquoise color. I don't want to come up under here under my moon. Put a little bit more dark green with it. Then it. Pull it and then twist and lift up. Lift up. Pull, twist, and lift up. Okay, that's all that is. And I've got that color right here. And if I add some more white to it, I have that color right here. Comes down to the bottom, okay? Okay, those are my three bits of kind of the phthalo green color. There you go. That's it. That's all you got. Okay? <laughs> so you're thinking, well, you know, Ginger, this isn't too hard. She sees this doesn't look terribly hard, right? It doesn't, does it really when you think about it? And it's not really a coloring book, but it is in the sense that what's hard is you've got to get the pattern. Yeah? And so um, we're going to get out a little, a, 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 some black paint. I'll put it in one of these things. It's this little flow black. You could use marker if you wanted. And I want to do that and let that dry on my boat. Does it make sense? So I've shaken that. There's a little BB. Can you hear this inside here? And you, you hear it. You want to rattle it and shake it. I think somebody should invent a little tiny, like they have at the store for big cans of paint, a little <laughs> shaker for these things. Oh, please. And for the pens, too. Don't you guys think so? Wouldn't that be handy? I'd no. buy it. Hey, That's a big bear hug goes out to Art. For the PayPal donation, he's got a ticket in the fishbowl. Thank you, Art. Thank you for the, thank you for that. And uh, we have a question here, Ginger. Can you tell us more about painting in patterns? I am a newbie. Thank you. Well, in other words, patterns are. Here's how I can explain it. When, if you go to Europe and say you go to Italy and you don't speak Italian, you can look at the. You can look at the billboards, and in fact, you don't even see them because you don't see the pat. You know what I mean? Because you don't see the words. Does that make sense? You don't see the words. So, but as you, as an artist, we paint patterns. That's what we paint. Is everything's a shape? Um, I love that question. So I'm going to take a minute and answer it for you. I want to get this black on here while I, while I can. But I want to answer your question. We're going to come back to that then. We're going to come back to that because I'm going to explain that because I think that is a wonderful question. You, you can't know. I just think that's marvelous. There's a little bit of black in here too. All right. I'm going to come up here in this corner. Just up in the corner, I'm going to add a little black up here. Okay. I wanted mine a little darker. And uh, maybe something dark here. Okay. So I, we'll put that away for a minute. And while this is drying, I think I have a, I think I'm going to let that dry for a second, you guys. I'm just going to, I love this, I love the question about the patterns. In fact, because you've asked such a wonderful question about the patterns and you're a newbie, let me tell you what you've just won. What she won, John? She won something. She has won. Why don't we give her two months in the academy? I say you've won two free months as a red member in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. Uh, that's over, uh, that's like almost a hundred dollars. Hundred dollar value. Hundred dollar value, plus personal art coaching, and that means that anything that any of um, that any, you can send in stuff that you painted on YouTube and ask for help, or um, and you have over access to over like four hundred. Step-by-step uh, -step tutorials, and we have a whole section just for beginners, newbies. Yes and yes. So that was a wonderful question to ask, and I'm glad you did. So here's what we're talking about when we're talking about patterns. You know, you think about if you think about a quilt or something. Obviously, those are patterns, and you know, you put them together. But in art, um, like for instance, the letter A is a pattern. You just make that all the time, right? And um, when you were a kid, 
you made a tree like pine tree like this, and that was a pattern. Okay. So, um, and then of course you have circles, triangles, rectangles. Yeah, straight lines. So something is either a letter of from the alphabet. It's a circle, triangle. And sometimes just being able to see what that is. For instance, like when you're painting an ocean, the waves are triangles. Maybe a little bit of pyramid-like, but they're triangles, right? So, but, and if you look at a picture, you'll see it. There, there's a lot of them, right? But there's patterns. So when you can start in your mind looking for the patterns and sometimes the easiest way to do that is to just turn it upside down and that's and that's one of the things that we would tell people <coughs> turn the painting upside down when you're painting it to look for the patterns in this case particularly it's abstract there's nothing but patterns <coughs> yeah because you can painting it is indeed so I'm going to take what's called Posca pens and art, art pens they have the last few years, the manufacturers have come out with these wonderful pens, and they're, um, they come in white and black and colors and so forth. And what they do is they allow you to, um, just looking for my big black one here, uh, here. They allow you to take acrylic paint and put it in a very fine place. Um, fine, I mean, like, not lovely, but fine, like, um, <laughs> Fine lines and stuff, you know? Okay, makes sense? So, for instance, I can take, that's dry. So I can take this pen here, and I can go ahead and, and literally paint with it and paint that in there. And I, for instance, I know that, for instance, on the inside of this boat, I want a fine line. It's a lot easier to do it with this pen. Yes and yes. And here I'm going to make a triangular pattern. You see this pattern here under the seat of the boat? Do you see it's a triangle? Yes and yes. So if I say that that, because that, that, that's the pattern. So people will rec recognize this and say, oh yeah, boat seat, even though it's just a triangle. Yes and yes. And then um, the same thing with this boat seat here. I've got a, there's the dark space here. I'll just draw that in. I know if I come back here to the, this is the stern of the boat. Yeah. I can take the pen like this and just do a nice outline. Now, in a fine art oil painting, you wouldn't do it like this, but for abstracts, you can get away with a lot. So we're going to say that there's this line here, and then we're going to do a white line, but some of this is going to be darker, so we'll make this darker right in here, going all the way up to this part of the boat here, yeah? And then here's another triangle right here on this one here. See my little triangle? Yeah. Oh, you're going, there's a boat, Ginger. No, I know, there's a boat. So, um, and again, this is an abstract, but it still works. All right? And um, the whole boat is an outline, but I, I've outlined this. So then when I do the white Posca pen on it and some of these other colors, like for instance, well, I don't want to. I don't want to mix wet. Wa this takes about five minutes to dry, so I don't want to mix them. You don't want to start them. But now I've got kind of. You can see where I've kind of got the boat in, and I'm going to take a small brush and do the. Uh, just say I want this to be light right in here. Okay, so I'll just paint that light. And the back part of this is going to be kind of a blue-white. Back here, it's kind of white and a little bit of blue. Ooh, the phthalo green color too, it's kind of pretty, kind of that blue-green color. Yeah, I'm going to put that back in this part of the 
boat right here like that. Yes and yes. You guys can see where that one. And I'm going to put a little bit of that color right here on the top of that. Because again, that's layers. So that was that. That dried. So I put another layer on it, right? Okay. Now my moon, this is was fun. The moon is uh, ultramarine blue and magenta. We'll make a little kind of a, uh, it's like a little bit more blue, maybe a little brown. I want to dull that out. I could have used black too, but let's just do that. Not everybody has black. And when I'm painting in the moon, I'm going to turn it this way, okay? So what I'm painting in the moon is this sort of pattern like this, this little triangular pattern, right? And then I'll take a little bit of this light color, like that, okay? And then I'm going to say I've got some clouds. I'm going to suggest there's some clouds up here in my moon. And let's do a little bit more of this marigold color up on the top. Marigold is a translucent color, so you can mix it by using the cat and the orange, but if you want a translucent color, then you want to mix it, okay? So now if I turn it this way, I've got to straighten that out a little bit, but not much. I'm going to just bring my bring it that way. So I've got this strange little pattern in the moon. I know it's, it kind of does more of this. It's almost like we're mimicking the ocean up here in the moon. Okay? That was the genesis behind this. You know, in the olden days, like in the you know, time of Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci and those guys, people... Um, Uh, put symbols in their um, in their artwork. You know they you know you they, you couldn't be political, you know because you get your head cut off for saying anything too political. But a lot of artists would put symbols, and then symbols became widely known. People understood the symbols, and that was another interesting aspect of that. Okay, there you go. So there's my fun pattern in the moon. Let's give Jules a thank you for her Zelia gen generosity. <gasps> Jules. Another ticket or two in the old swimming hole of the fishbowl. Yes and yes. Thank you very much. People, for the newbies, somebody's going to say, well, what is a fishbowl? Well, John. You got um, the pictures right over there next to you, boss. I do. And I have a picture for it. I want to tell you about it. Yeah, tell uh, about it. We run a scholarship later. program in our academy. Um, but thanks to, you know, John's wife. Uh, of 40 years when he she passed away um, she was part of our company originally and she passed away we did a scholarship um, in in her name kind of in memory in her memory really right would you say that yeah. would be the yeah. best way to put it in her yeah. memory yeah. we did a scholarship in her memory of um, because she was she was always giving things away and helping people when they had nothing somebody needed something she made sure they had it she would knit things and just give them to people that you, you knew her more. You know, you, you, John certainly saw this all the time. That was her thing. And she, and she was very artistic. She wasn't an art painter, but she was artistic and she did, you she know, did sewing. All the different crafts, lots time. of crafts. And um, so that's what, you know, that's what she did. She painted her, she did ceramics and she did them um, like Ginger does her paintings. They were a work of art. Yeah, they were, weren't they, huh? Yeah. So, um, what, you know, we wanted to do that. We, we started this arts online art school. What I wanted to be able to do, and here's the genesis behind it, is when we started this online art school, and John and I did about 10 years ago. He was in Michigan, and I was still in, in, I was in Texas. 
but we wanted to create step-by-step -step videos for people and then be able to look at the paintings, you know, through the internet because the technology is so marvelous, isn't it? And um, uh, and and be able to make videos of the comments, you know, make you know, write the comments and and, and tell people how they can improve them, right? That was the whole thing about being able to do that, yeah. Yeah. That's what we want. That's what we wanted to do. And um, and I feel like we um, we've we've refined it over the years. Where now we do these wonderful video, what we call them video packs, personal art coaching packs, where. I can actually take your painting into a into Photoshop or something like that, or one of my painting programs like Rebel, and um, uh, and I can tell you how to improve it. Seriously, tweak it here, I, tweak it there. We can, we can. Um, I can tell you absolutely how to improve it. So we're going to take some CAD red on this one. So that's a little bit brighter orange. Okay, a little bit of cad red here, like that. There you go. And we want a little bit of that cad red medium is um, is a yellow orange, and this is cad red medium light. So it's even a little bit brighter, and we'll put a little yellow with it. So we did that, and then you know a lot of people, you know, things happen to people. I mean, acrylic painting is not an inexpensive sport. So at some point, you're going to be able to buy the paints and that kind of stuff, right? But but it's definitely not an inexpensive thing to do. Did you say that was true, John? Absolutely. So I'm going to. It's take, not the most expensive. It's cheaper than going golfing. No, for instance, take some cad red here like this, um, and use a wide brush like this and come up here like that. But it's not the, not the. It's not the most expensive. But it's not. Then here's some cadmium orange. Um, put on pretty thick. Okay. But anyway, so we started the scholarship fund, and people have you know people don't you know our viewers donate to it. John and I match. Um, if somebody has, to, for instance, if there's somebody you wanted a scholarship, we had a lot of people do that this year. Um, John and I match, match it when we can, and um, it's kind of neat, actually, don't you think, John? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you say you want to sponsor somebody for a month, we'll add another month to it, so they get two months for the price of one. Yeah. It's a twofer. Yeah, and it also, you know, it also helps us. Uh, it pays for, you know, your donations help pay for equipment that we have to buy, keep going with, keep the lights on. I think those are all fair assessments of what it does. Yes, John? Yep. And, um, for instance, just people have no idea just uh, just alone what, you know, mailing, you know, you, you know, you put all these videos, they, somebody has to pay for the storage on them. And the... For every hour of, uh, I've got some white here. See, I'm going over this now. This is the layers we all talked about, yes and yes. Uh, for every hour of, of, of video that um, I film, John has two, two hours in editing on it. Seriously, two hours of editing. Yeah? Yep. Okay, here's At some... Here's some bright yellow. I'm going to put that right here like this. Okay, and I'm going to put some more this yellow on the one side of the brush. Look here, and I'm going to go over this wet orange. Push and twist and pull up. Just one stroke and stop. Like that, okay? And then I might take some magenta and orange. That's an interesting color. Not mix it too much. Come this way here and push down and lift up. Push down and lift up. Maybe come over here on pretty close to this guy. So make sure I have the yellow off the brush. Magenta and orange. 
Yeah, let's give Sheila a thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you very much, Miss Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. That's awesome. So nice. Okay, so these angle brushes are perfect because you can go straight up like that. The, the bigger ones are almost easier to do a straight line on, you guys, than the others. You know, just as interesting uh, dichotomy here of stuff. So, anyhow, so what we then we decided, and a lot of people were, you know, donated, and we wanted to pay, give that back for you guys that were donating for the scholarship fund. So every quarter, we have been doing a giveaway where for every twenty-five dollars that you donate, whether it's ten dollars here and twenty dollars here or five dollars there, so as long as this adds up to twenty-five, every twenty-five dollar donation over that three-month period is worth a ticket in our uh, what we call the fishbowl, and you and you and we'll do a drawing for. Uh, four original paintings and here I'll show you what they are this time that has to all have to dry a little bit I know you guys thought that was going to be a lot harder than it was I thought it was going to take you four hours to do this yeah one. I know so one of the uh, this was one of our most um, sought after videos on YouTube that we did was this this people everybody wanted to do these flowers in a glass jar and this is the original to that and really neat so that's one and then our last year we started a new portrait class. Some people asked for it. So we started, our purple members have access to everything from the Wave and Water Master Class to everything the red members have, but they also have exclusive members to learning how to paint people. And this was not a tutorial, but one I designed. I thought it might make a tutorial. I found other examples I wanted to do more. So this is an, an original piece. Uh, I always think that that's a very spiritual piece right here. And then, uh, so I think that one's kind of cool. And then we've got, um, last year, we had, one of our videos was a giant a painting of a meadow. This was the companion piece I designed to go with it, never painted it. So again, this is a rush, rushing water with the um, uh, azaleas and woods and that we think is kind of it's on a 12 by 12 square canvas total total original and then when we were in um, our trip um, to Iceland and so forth um, I know it was a there was what was that anyway one of our crews I think it was Greenland we um, I painted this as a little cabin. I wanted to reflect, show how the lights from the cabin would reflect in the water, a little waterfall and everything. And there's a little study I did for that. And so that's the other one that, um, that you can draw for. Now our newbie was going to say, what kind of things do you have to paint in your art school? Well, we have over four, four hundreds of paintings. But one of our newest ones we're going to be releasing soon is in the pastel, pastel colors. And these are... Uh, peaches, and it's on a, um, what was size was this one, John? It uh, looks like a 15, 15, no, 12, 12. 12, 12, 12. yeah, 12, 12. And I really thought that was nice for, it's a, these, we have a whole series of these news and these, um, more of the pastel colors for summer for, you know, kitchen paintings. Um, this week we're releasing this, um, these puppy dogs, and, uh, you need to and the and what's neat about those is that um, let me just bring this down, is that you know you you learn from that. Just look at all. The, so you see all the layers on the woods. We that we don't have any way to zoom in anymore. Next week we will, but you can see somebody said, how do you know if there's enough layers? There's probably five or six layers on these boards of dry brushed on and colors, on these on these dogs. And then the same thing with their with their little box that they're looking over the fence at you. I had a whole series of these dogs. This one I turned, I made it into a tutorial. And um, so that's what we've got going there. And then uh, so many designs are, you know, I can't show you everything, but this was one we're gonna release later on uh, this spring. Um, it's uh, some fl a flower garden in the Alps with a little bird. And I think this is really charming. So well, that's one of the tutorials we're releasing. Uh, this week uh, in our um, Gazette, we, if you're a newbie and you haven't signed up for our um, YouTube free a newsletter that comes out every Monday, um, 
Uh, just sorry, I'm just doing my pen as we're talking. The You're doing a fine job of doing your pen. We, we did talking. a really good article on. There's a really good article we wrote on abstract art and are you being held hostage to the? Are you being made to feel if you don't like something then? The people making you feel uneducated because if you really knew you'd like it or for instance in the article uh, Georgia O'Keeffe who I really quite like as an artist but when she was I think it was 77 years old she painted uh, one of her most famous paintings which is clouds and it was huge it was like you know like half a wall right and it's in our newsletter if you haven't read it and I personally think it's hideous <laughs> oh my god and you know what I mean but she got a lot of bang for a buck because she was famous already that point, so but it was hideous. So I want, think you've got to be able to say that, you know, there's, you, you've got to, you have personal taste, and you've got to be allowed. You, you can't let the the art snobs, you know, make you feel bad about what you think. Is that a good one? Don't make, let the art snobs make you feel bad. But think, but it's an interesting article on abstracts and so forth. And um, John didn't bring it up in the article, but I think I'll tell it the story today, right? Do you guys want to hear a little piece of gossip? No, that's for story time. All right, story time. So We've I have some gossip about today. abstract paintings and the Russians, and wait till you hear about that. That's a good one. It's a good one, right? So well, um, Let's give uh, Sandra a huge thank you for her donation into PayPal, and she's got herself a ticket into Fishbowl. Thank you very much, Sandra. Okay, you see how I'm going back over the black on this now? And uh, uh, okay, so not quite. Still got it. Okay, so now I'm just going to put that away. Um, for the real small stuff, like for instance, like in, like, well, for like. Like right here, like I know that I want a little bit more of a black line on this boat. I can use a small brush like this. These are a little, um, uh, I don't know what they, they're, for, they're, they're but these brushes were designed for people that did models, you know, like paint little soldiers and stuff. And uh, the, um, you, if uh, we have a little store on Amazon, we don't get any really money for it. It's just a way where you can find things that we use. I mean, if you bought a set of brushes, we might get two cents or something. But we, you know, it helps you find it. And uh, these work really well. Not, not every brush you get like twenty brush, brushes in the kit. Not every brush is perfect, but the ones that are, they're cheap and and um, relatively so. And so the the brushes that we use are. Um, um, you know, if you wear one out, it's not that hard to buy another one. You know, they're pretty, pretty reasonable. Wouldn't you say that was a fair assessment of what I'm talking about? So what you want to do on something like this is what you want to do is clean up the lines. Like on this sail, this is where if you want to tape them, if this was a, this would be a line I might, I might very well tape, use tape on to make sure that that's a straight line on the that, all right, and um, like I've got, barely touch it, and then just bring the brush on down like that. Um, we've got a wonderful video in, um, that I recommend everybody watch as an Academy member. Um, on just your brushes and what your brushes shouldn't should be able to do, and if they're not doing that for you, uh, why not? Yes. So uh, there's that there. Okay. Now I've got a few more colors to add to this as we're painting, but I would say um, I honestly, John, thought this would take a lot longer than it has. Not that it's totally finished, but still, you know. Fairly, it's kind of impressive, isn't it? I, I am more than impressed. I'm just and it, and I just want this as another coat to see another layer of this on here like that. Cut into the sail like that. You know, and I want a little bit more. Want some brown here. 
A truckload of thank yous goes out to Janny for her donation that came in through PayPal, and she's going to get a ticket or two in the fishbowl. She wanted some tickets in the fishbowl. Oh, that's she's awesome. Thank you, Janny. Um, you know, um, Janny is one of the few you guys that take time to tell us that you enjoy our Gazette when it comes out. And honestly, if you knew the hours that John, John spends on our Gazette, you can't, we so appreciate, and Liz, Liz too, Liz Carson, you guys, that's, it's Saturday comes, it's Gazette time. And, um, we make a day of it. Yeah, and and for and those that, 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 who saw the cover on the um, Emperor's New Clothes, that, John got that, that's a real book, book, book cover, yes? That's a real book cover, you guys. And, um, I mentioned that because I'm going to take a little blue over that. When I first saw it, I did kind of a double take on it. I said, you sure you want to put this out over there? <laughs> I don't know, John. What is that, right? <laughs> anyway, it's a, we get to, to see the emperor. It's a cartoon. But anyway, it's sort of cute. So anyway, I want you to know I had reservations. So... Sorry if anybody got, a, you know, I hope nobody was offended, right, right John? We don't think I so. don't think anybody's offended. It's a cartoon after all. Come on, people. And, right and we didn't. We all grew up with that story. Are you kidding me? Well, the Empress New Clothes, we did, because it's so true. You know, there's a lot of these, like they call them, like Aesop's fables and stuff like that. There's some wisdom through the ages. Would you say that would be a good way to that's put a, it? Yes, a good way to put it. Wisdom through the ages, and it doesn't, you know, people haven't changed that much. We have better toys, right? And um, but people have not. Let's do this a little yellow and black here. Here, want to do this? There, that was a little yellow and black in there. You see what I color I got with that? I'll put up here too. All right. That's what we mean by layers. And let's see, let's take a little bit of this brown color. And I want this to be, see this is a hard line right here. It's to, so this is a soft line where these white and this is, but that, this is what you call a hard line. Okay? And, uh, and this is what you call a layer over it. Lift up the brush. So this is where so much of this kind of, um, here's some cad red over this. This is where the layer comes in. Lift, lift, see? Lift, lift. And these are colors that you can't really lift, 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 right? You can't really get it unless you, um, now, there's quite a bit of paint on the brush. See that? I'm going to come down here and just go lift and lift and lift. And lift okay. some more. And then down here like this, we'll just come right over this like that. Lift. Kind of drop the paint and then pick up like that. See how I dropped it by just curving it like that? Just kind of bent the paint, bent the brush over and drop the paint. You bent the paint. Yeah, oh, I bent the brush good. over. Yeah, this is how you do it. It's interesting. Listen, you, what you do is you put the paint on one side of the brush like this. See, all kind of globbed. Then you start, and as you pull it towards you, you bend it. And you see how it will Just drop a little edge. Behind. You see how it will drop a little edge like that? Practice that. That's fun. You can get a little edge like that. And that dries. That's just that's an interesting. People wonder, how how you did that? That's kind of cool, right? And here's a little bit of yellow and cad yellow light, which we hadn't used yet. Okay, and I'm going to put some of that up there, too. A little bit more of the cad orange. <gasps> wow. Who did that? I did. Good thing. A good save, right? Ooh. Again, this is the layers we're talking about. See, now all of that, these lines like that, that give movement. That gives movement. See, lift. 
Gives it the motion in the ocean. So that's the kind of thing that, that um, then we're going to do something kind of fun here. To, to, you're going, there's more fun stuff, yeah. So we take some purple and <laughs> white. nothing but fun here, people. Yeah, but, it, up for some fun. Here's some purple and white. A little bit more white. Now, kind of mix that up a little bit more. Then I'll take some purple on the brush and blue and then just barely touch it. Okay, so I've got three colors on the brush. I'm going to come under here and just see a little bit more blue and purple with that. There's a little bit of purple. See where I did, where I did that? Just a couple places. Yeah? I mean, <laughs> you're going... So that's, that's, and as you break this down, you'll see the patterns, right? You can't help but see them. And, which is a good thing. You want to be able to see the patterns. You be able to see the patterns. Turn it upside down. Yeah. You definitely see the patterns. So right here, I'm going to go this way. Now these are all going this way. Now I'm going to do this one going upside straight this way. One, two, three. See? I just, that's that new pattern. There's that cat orange. See? Okay, we've got one more thank you to give out to Miss Robin for her donation that came in through PayPal. And she's got herself a ticket fishing in the fishbowl, floating around in the fishbowl. Yeah, you guys, we appreciate that so much. You can't know, and it's going to help because we were sitting there this weekend and we said, we have to make a decision. We have to get the new camera equipment. And um, so we thank you guys very much. And we have a year to pay for it, so life is good. Yeah. Yeah, we... Okay, see so what I'm doing just with this brush here. Okay, and I'm going to turn it this way. Here it is upside down. Sometimes it's easier to paint something upside down. I'm going to come this way. My brush stays still, and I'm just moving my body. Okay, did you guys see how I'm doing that? Brush no, stays really still. Like see, just see your hand going my hands off. moving. My body's moving. Not my arm. Whoa, huh? You guys, you guys is. This right? is looking sweet. Yeah. Do you have a frame somewhere for this kitty thing here? Do we have anything for that? Here's a little. Do I have a frame somewhere? Yeah, here's sure a light blue. And here's got some white on top of that. You got a nice gold one put, for it. Put some white on top of this line, like this. Do you think you're done with it, my queenness? About ninety percent. Ninety percent. So you have another ten percent to go. Maybe. I think so, but I think I'm about done with it, babe. See, look at that. I don't want to make things. You know, I'm not trying to make things um, uh, too complicated. Uh, that's where's my black again? I knew I went too far with the white there. There's just that should be a little bit of black right here. Okay, it comes down like that. Then I can skinny this line up just with getting another. I think get one line too wide. It's certainly easy enough to skin it. Just put it, skinning it up by putting another line next to it. So you can get some pretty thin lines here. Yes and yes. Doing that. And then we need a, we need a straight line down here into the boat. Like that with the sail. I think, if you guys like this, I think you would like um, the one we have with the um, gondola and the bubbles. You know, in the Academy, if you like this. That's very abstracty too. Okay. Now, as I look at this, even though I had it in my original design, my eye's going too much to this dark spot, right? You see that? So even though it was in my original design, I thought it was a nifty idea. 
Which one? Right here. Yeah. My eye's just mm -hmm. getting stuck there. So I, what I could, agree with that. Yeah, no, we don't want that. So we're going to take some magenta. Did that help? No, nope. that's not going to lighten it up. It's a little bit of magenta is not going to lighten it up. So what could we do? Let's take some orange over it. There. So it's still there. But it's not. But it's not. And we'll mix that in a little bit right like that. See, I can change it just by mixing the colors right there on the palette. So when I do that, now I've got And I'll drop some yellow there. There you go. And then drop some yellow here. Hey, a heartfelt thank you goes to Sharon for her donation that came through PayPal. And she's got another ticket in the fishbowl. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. That's and wonderful. An interesting fact for those that are wondering, do you have to have more than one ticket in the fishbowl? Last quarter, a person with a single ticket was a winner. Yeah, single ticket. I only had one ticket in the fishbowl, which was $25 ticket, you know, $25 value. You only had one. It's, uh, your odds are better with a greater number, but it doesn't always work out that way. Yeah. It's the fairest way we can figure to go through it. See how I'm kind of, kind of getting some of the points on these edges a little more, see, like that? And... Uh, I wanted something a little bit lighter up that going, wanted it going this way. There we go. I don't know why you thought you could go that way, but you can't. All right. We're going to skinny you up. See what I mean? There we go. So, oh yeah, then one more color surprise here. We're going to get, because of course we always have to have one, yes? Someone says, what's a color surprise? What's well, sort of an unexpected color, usually a compliment of its, uh, so usually a complimentary color. And um, where did I put, wait, I just had all these colors out today looking for this. Oh, here it is. What a little Holbein luminous rose, and I put a little bit of a little bit of peach down here, pink, and uh, oh, that's that's luminous opera. That might be good. Let's see what we get if we paint it white. Yeah. Put a little magenta with that. Okay, now let's see, get a little blue-purple going. So I would say all in all, you've, John's got a little, what, little frame behind me. Do you have well, that? Well, I figured I'll frame it. Why you show upcoming toots? You haven't shown those yet, have you? Didn't I? Oh, you got me some new ones. Well, did you show all those? Yeah. Oh. Well, well I'll you, show a couple others. We got some that we can show with the well, typewriter and the, everything. You can show the Paul one. Oh Mr. yeah. Mr. Gauguin. Yeah, let's do that. There we go, like In that. His style, but we we improved upon it. This is where the layers come in. We could just add some stuff. Let me show these two why. So you've done these group. Okay. All right, so I'm going to show a few things when John does this. We try to film ahead of time, and we design paintings, and of course we listen to you guys about you wanna, what you want to learn to paint, which is very important to us. So we try to come up with, and then of course we're doing story times on, um, on uh, during the week. During the week, we've been doing those. And I, thank you guys for commenting. Those of you who have 
commented on this. We so appreciate it when you've commented on our story time pictures. Because, uh, okay, here's an example of some paintings that we have coming up in our academy. Um, this was what the office. It's a, we can't we can't zoom back out, but you can see it's a you know it's a typewriter and who doesn't remember having set up like this in your house? I know my mother did. She always typed and uh, took typing in school. That's going to be coming up in the academy, and um, and then we've got for our uh, purple members we've got this uh, Gauguin style portrait of a, of a girl reading a book. So, you know, what a contrast between the different things. So when you ask me, what can I learn and with paintingwithginger.com, what can I learn? You can learn to paint. And then you find out. Then you pick things you want to paint. It's the self-paced. We have 700 videos totally almost. You pick the ones that are interesting to you because not everybody wants to paint Gauguin. Not everybody wants to paint a typewriter. And some people want to paint a fun little boat like this, right? So... Uh, Wait till you see this. Okay, you guys. Come on. If that's not a museum piece, I don't know what is. What do you think? I think it's spectacular. Kind of neat, right? I think it's fabulous. It's kind of what I was hoping. That was well, that was my intention. I wasn't really sure I could pull it off, honestly. From, oh. You know, but I think I did. Maybe I'm still with you yet. Yeah? There's just only one little thing I want to do that I see that I need to do. And that's just because, um, and I'll just take this back up here. I don't want to get that on there. I just have one, a little tweak. Sometimes you get a, you get a, I don't like this straight line. Do you see the straight line I've got here? Like that? Where, where, where? Let's right here, this straight line. This one straight. I want to just curve that a little bit. Should, come, cur should curve and go up. This oh, yes, yeah, 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 see, you, mm-hmm, 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 yeah. So this has got a curve. You had too much, it's too big. And go up. Yep, there you go. There, you see, that, that, it, it keeps on with the flowing. Oh, you saved that one. Flowing of the waves, and that needs to come to a point like that. I mean, it's all fun, and even this a little bit of the yellow right here by the sun right like that. That's uh, our moon. I think it's the moon. Whatever it is, you know, we set it. And I didn't put any birds in this, which I think it needs, but you got No birds, uh, no tractors, okay. that's the deal. All right, there's a little bit of yellow right there that kind of take up, offsets the orange. I think it's kind of funny. This is, a, again, really probably not the stuff we do all the time, but we do have a whole section of abstract videos on YouTube. And um, I think I want something dark there, but not as dark as I had it. Does that make sense, John? A little well, more separation well, there. Just a little bit something darker, but... Um, You're pretty close in value. Yeah, I'll just take a little bit of... Just something dark right here, not so much. There, like that. There you go. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody that joined us this evening. And if you have not, give it the old thumbs up. We'd appreciate it if you would. It lets YouTube know that you people are enjoying it and helps us get more people here to see what we're up to. Oh, yeah. And if you have not subscribed, please take a moment and do so. It costs you nothing. Yeah, it and, and, and so appreciated it, too. Here's a little bit of light right there. Ah, there you go. Ah, how fun is this? Wait a Honestly. Wait, 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 what? wait. What? What did I forget? You see that little pink line going across there? This pink line? Here? Yeah, can you get rid of that? Sure, John. It bothers me. I think it's a hair or something. Well, <laughs> really? Well, and then the other line here is that um, yeah. in an ideal world, which I say we should go for, you know, if we don't have an ideal world, what do we have, right? I'm going to do a Take my card here from the C here, the credit card. It's always a card like this from the, the cruise ship, right? I need a straight line here. I could do something better than this. Don't I have something else that's straighter? It's not long enough. Where's my triangles? I have triangles. 
Interesting. I do have triangles. I know I do. Well, if I can do this. No, that's not, that, that one isn't going to work. Well, what I would normally do with that, right? I'll show you what I normally do. You need a straight line, you just tape it. That's the trick. If you need a straight line somewhere, and sometimes on a picture like this, it doesn't hurt to tape a few lines. If I had more time, I would have taped a lot more, but, you know, either curved or whatever. So if I do something like this, hold it tight, just push this down like this. See what I'm doing? Just like that, right? Then take a clean, dry brush. No wet on it. And it comes out a little further like that. See? See how that, do you see how that works? So then you can come in on it a little bit and skinny it up. You don't want too many straight lines, but you can kind of skinny it up like that with a little bit of that gold color. Now that line's pretty straight. It looks pretty good. All right. Sorry, but sometimes, you know, you guys, you know, if you stay to the end, we have to tweak it. I want to thank our mods for, for coming out and playing with us today. And um, thank you guys for, uh, you know, for all of that. And I would hey, love got to. One more thank you to give to Serpa for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You guys, these kind of things make a huge difference. And, you know, even though this is an abstract, you can see that the, we have a flow yeah, of waves. It's that abstract. I mean, compared to some of the things we found during our research, are you kidding me? Well, it's not. Yeah, technically it's not. And, no. you know. Um, I like, can see what this is. I understand it. Yeah. So, um, absolutely. So, anyway, thank you very much. And we'll see you next week. Please leave in the comments what you'd like to see for next Monday because I've got no plans. I was <laughs> kind of thinking about an abstract, some dancers, that abstract dancers. But, you know, your opinions are always valued. So thanks, you guys. Love you. And have a wonderful week. We'll see you at story time. And uh, Will we see now. them? I don't know. Yeah, but we'll hear, hope to hear from you at story time. Bye, How's everyone. That? Bye. Fade to black. <laughs>